Today I'm on location at my friend's flower farm. We're doing some vlogging out here and it's just gorgeous. The roosters and the chickens are all riled up and I wish my phone would do the mountains justice because they're covered in snow and they're just beautiful. Um, I'll try and show you a quick shot, but this phone won't do it justice. Whatever you're doing this beautiful Friday, do it with love, do it with an open heart. I love you guys. Just listen to it. So incredible, so incredible. So many little buzzing bees and humming hummingbirds and just all of the things that wanna connect out here in nature. Roosters roostering, chickens chickening, birds chirping. There's no mystery in this, guys. It's all perfection. Yesterday I was having a thought as I was trying to untangle a big piece of twine that had gotten wrapped up and we all have that junk drawer, right? Do we all have that? I have that. <clears throat> and I had this beautiful piece of twine that I wanted to use for a project and it had gotten wrapped around and tangled with a bunch of other little things in my drawer. And I used to get so mad at inanimate objects. It's really funny to me now because in the story of Kelly, that was a big thing. Like it could send me down a virtual frustration trap for hours. Any project I was working on that seemed to involve an inanimate object that seemed to be frustrating me. So yesterday it could have been the twine, fishing wire, uh, Christmas lights. I think we can all relate to the Christmas light one, right? Every year we pull those suckers out and every year we fight with them until we don't. Life is like that. Life is like that. Sometimes you just have to set the twine down, set the Christmas lights down, set the thing down, and get here. Get here. Connect here. The twine's not going anywhere. The Christmas lights aren't going anywhere. The junk drawer isn't going anywhere. And if you sit there and fight with it, the knots will get tighter. The things that it's attaching to will become more stubborn, right? We've all seen that. The trickier it becomes when the emotion's tied to it. But if you just set it down and you take a moment and you step away from whatever it is and come back to it, with a peaceful space, it becomes a meditation. Each knot, each tangle, each wrap, each apparent struggle to release it, just one at a time, no rush, no hurry, no pull, no tug, just a beautiful allowance of Ah, another one let loose. Ah, another one let loose. And eventually the twine is free, the project is completed, and there's more time for this.
It's not the twine that's making you crazy. It's not the junk drawer. It's not the Christmas lights. It's not the tangled fishing line. It's not the project. It's not the people on the project. It's this disconnected from this. Same message, different day, different location, same heart, same love, same showing up to tell you you're loved. There they are, chiming in. You're loved, you're loved, you're loved, you're so loved. What more is needed? I just love it. Set the line down. Set the frustrating inanimate object down. Set the project down. Set the life thing down for a minute. Connect, connect, and then come back to it. I promise it'll be much clearer. It'll unravel much easier. It'll allow you to recognize that it was never that big of a problem anyway. I love you guys. Until next time. Mm.